Whoa. What's that? All right, guys, so we just found this, and it says, what you should know about tuberculosis. It looks like a picture of a nurse. Okay, what is this? Oh, hold on a second. It says, Nurse Ratched, because of you, I can breathe again, my guardian angel. Yeah, there's something back here, guys. Oh my god, what is this? That beyond medical science, whatever happened to me was in fact a miracle. I honestly just spotted that out of the corner of my eye. Like, there's just this little dude, like, hanging down and stuff. Yo. Okay, this says they're all mine now. What else does it say, bro? Our lives in three... Danger. Well, that's good. Um, you gonna shake it? <laughs> of course. Oh my god. <laughs> it literally really? says of course. Welcome back to this exciting new Randonautic adventure. I'm here with Angelo again. And the mosquitoes. And it's really, really, really buggy. So the two of us have ran separate intents. Um, his is in one direction, mine is in the other. Um, I don't know what to expect with this place. He was telling me a story recently that, uh, from what was the yeah, most recent episode. There was somebody, I don't know if they're like hiding out here or living out here or whatever, but as soon as the sun kind of started to go down that's when things got really strange but mm -hmm. um yeah just just be careful that's all like yeah so you guys can watch that episode it's on his channel right now and you guys can find out what happened there um we're back at this place we're hoping we get something but we're hoping we're not gonna have to hide and run from predators like we have in the past so anyways guys be sure to smash the like button hit subscribe we got more coming at you all right so you're splitting off yeah. so his point is actually down this good way guys uh, mine is down this way. He was just checking out the map to see where he's heading down. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, I guess we're gonna catch up. We're gonna catch up with each other later, and just we'll see what happens. Yeah. Cool. There's a little map here where we're going. All right, bro. Yeah, I'll see you in a bit. All right, All right guys. So we're walking down the trail now. There is so many uproot tree roots here. It is crazy. It's actually so easy to fall here or trip or get hurt. So I'm going to make sure that I really watch the ground this time, watching my footing and everything. So, yeah. But it looks like there are some caves and caverns here. And I know I've had a few people that have said that they're really, really excited to... Uh, they really want me to explore caves and things more often, especially people typically that have watched the Wendigo series. So I know that that would be really exciting if we can hit that off, get some stuff. There's actually some really old stuff here too, Angela was saying. Um, so yeah, hopefully we find some structures or something cool, something just something neat, something that we haven't seen in a little while. We picked a good time to come out too. It's not really, uh, it's not dark yet. It's actually before that. We still got daylight. Hopefully we have a bit of daylight left because I'm not really fond of night <laughs> for obvious reasons. Yeah, and I asked Angelo about his trip. He had a little trip. Uh, going to another province there he said that everything went well so that's really good always good to know that my buddies are my buddies are doing well good health or having fun and vacationing and doing things that they love to do so that's one thing yeah so this points uh this points a bit of a walk and I know last episode I didn't really I didn't walk as much as I Probably should have. I know a lot of people like to see the whole adventure as a whole. This trail is nowhere near 
I don't think it's nowhere near as big as M's, which was this one forest that we checked out. Okay. Yeah, so I just, I guess I just keep following these markers here. Oh my god, I'm getting eaten alive by mosquitoes. Sorry, guys. Hello? Anybody there? What I heard, it, it almost sounded just to me, it almost just, just, it just sounded like a snake or something. I don't know, we always hear, always hear weird sounds, weird strange na sounds of nature and stuff in places like this. Oh wow, really loving the trail. I love hiking, I love places like this. Oh, that's kind of neat. See, that kind of dips down there. So of course these ropes are here just so that nobody falls or gets hurt or anything like that, so. Alrighty, here we go. Look at that. I don't know what that's doing there. These look like rose petals. So there's rose petals spilled all over here, guys. I know you're not supposed to cross this thing, but I kind of want to just... I kind of want to just take a peek at what's over there. I'll be careful. Look, there's rose petals going all the way up here. They real too. No, those are real. Those are real rose petals. I hope there's nobody else here with me. Like no crazy people anyways. Yeah, like it led to this tree. I'm not really seeing... I'm not really seeing anything. There's some spray paint down here. It's nothing really. And more paint down there. Yeah, so I don't really see anything here, guys, of interest. And this isn't the this isn't the point, anyways. But it just it kind of caught my eye, because you know the radius is very different. It's very like it, sometimes they can be spacious. So this whole area, you're never gonna find something right on point. A lot oftentimes we find stuff that's it's near the radius, but it's not it's not it's not exact. It's only a precise thing. I gotta be careful too, juggling the camera and the uh, and everything else. So I can't wait to get a new backpack. That's my whole idea with this check is to get a new pack because this thing, this one arm thing, I can't stand it. You sweat in this one, it's just crazy. Wow, this place is awesome. I definitely recommend this place for sure. Yeah, we're getting... Oh wow, that was beautiful. The birds are out singing today. I wish that Betty could come along for one of these adventures. However, I, I, I always never feel safe for her uh, bringing her at night, so for things like this, I just I just kind of go off on my own and do my own thing. I guess you guys are getting to see a little bit more of the uh, adventures of hiking this time around. Oh, another trip tripped on a tree root. That's what I mean, I gotta pay more attention. They're everywhere, man. Look at this though. So there's definitely caves here. 
I'm super excited. I love caves. I honestly, I think this place would be really cool to bring uh, Brett from last episode. Um, a really, really neat place. And hopefully it makes up for like the, uh, the stuff that we had to go through. So we had a close call there. There's been, a, there's been a lots of close calls in places. Wow, look at that though. Right there. So as you guys can see, there's, there's definitely something. And you do not want to fall down there. It's a shame they didn't put like a boardwalk or something because I mean not everybody pays attention as much as we do, exp exploration wise. Well, I mean often we make mistakes too, so. What's this say, Bruce Trail? And this goes down this way. So our point is actually off in this direction here. I'm hoping that we see something because that would be really, really interesting. <clears throat> So this is kind of the point here, guys. You have arrived. It kind of does look like a dud, to be honest with you. Look at those trees, though. That's kind of wild, eh? Yeah, I don't know. This one might be, good, be a dud, guys. I can see anything down in here. No, nothing there, eh? Is there more cape? Whoa. What's that? There's something here, guys. Silence. But obviously we're still in daylight. What is this? Oh, wow. I don't think I've ever found anything like this before doing Randonautica. Okay, so I'm just gonna find some flat rock here that I can check this out on. Okay, so, let's see what this is. All right guys, so we just found this and it says, what you should know about tuberculosis. And then at the bottom here, it says the Canadian Tuberculosis Association and then it says tuberculosis, tuberculosis is curable. So we have that there. Oh wow, so that's preface to the ninth edition. Sorry guys, there's just some people coming down checking the place out. So what is this? It's funny, I've actually read about this before because many of the insane asylums and stuff like that that we've encountered, explored, um, all, the, some of them were um, tuberculosis hotspots so they had they had a lot of deaths and things like that they were hospitals to basically control not only control and cure the disease but like help manage those that have it okay so what is this so it says what is tuberculosis tuberculosis is a disease caused by a small rod shaped germ the tubercular bacillus and it says the germ exists in three main types the human and which can also infect poultry and hogs and the avian which affects which may be found in the expectoration and any other discharges from the human body when the disease is established it may also be found in milk and milk products from tuberculosis cattle wow so if you guys don't know, many of infectious contagious diseases do come from animals and the things that animals like, you know, create, like whether we have milk from them or whether we have like other things like cheeses and things like that. So that seems to be that. And then where does it say down here? So it says careless coughing and sneezing by consumptives without without covering the mouth may cause germs to pass into the air and they may be inhaled into the lungs of well people. Patients may spit on floors, sidewalks, or in the streets. Sputum dries and the germs are carried 
sorry, there's just a bunch of people here. They're distracting me. <laughs> Carried in the dust and maybe breathed into the lungs or picked up by innocent children as they play. In fact, so common is the germ that in crowded cities, practically all of us have come in contact with the tubercle bacillus. While the germ may gain entrance to the body by the respiratory tract, that is, the mouth, nose, and throat, the bovine form particularly, may enter the gastrointestinal tract, being swallowed with the milk or food. Wow, so that's crazy, guys. But we're just going to see if there's anything here. And they talk about other symptoms. Differs from other infectious diseases communicable. This is really, really old. Periodic examinations. What to do if you have tuberculosis. What to do if the symptoms are present. Just going to see if anything's written here. Rest is the cure of tuberculosis. That's funny because I really thought that the vaccination was. Um, treatment for tuberculosis, diet, climate, other forms. So I have all this. So I'm not going to read all these guys because, like, I, obviously I know that not everyone is into uh, the reading and the historic parts of it. But I'm sure you can look up this pamphlet online. Or if you guys want, I could even take photos and put them on Instagram if you guys would wish to read further. But I'm just going through them. I, I'm seeing if there's anything written. Because, I mean, we just found this. It's a little creepy when we find these things. So your part in the cure and in convalescence. Take care and avoid a relapse, other illnesses. So this is like a whole pamphlet of the disease. Other hygienic rules. Okay, I have to recover. Yeah, so there's nothing written on here, guys. This is literally just... It's literally just the pamphlet for um, tuberculosis. So we got that. But anyways, this was hidden behind the behind the pamphlet, and it looks like a picture of a nurse. Okay, what is this? Oh, hold on a second. It says, Nurse Ratched, because of you, I can breathe again, my guardian angel. Okay, so it's not really disturbing, but why has it been hidden here? That's just wild. Now, I know we have these hospitals in Canada. These hospitals are pretty well everywhere. So, um, I mean, it's, it's not entirely uncommon for something like this to be in Canada, but like hidden somewhere in the rock, like in these caves, that's kind of wild, right? So, yeah. Oh, yeah, these guys are just hanging out. But yeah, a lot of people are going hiking and checking out these trails, which is pretty awesome. It's a really cool location. Hopefully we can check out some more once they go so we can have uh, some time to ourselves down there. But anyways, guys, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a new point and just we'll go from there, okay? All right, bye. All right, you guys, so we set a point down here. Lots of friendly people here today. I'm um, checking out these caves. This one... I don't know, this place just had my eye, like, it's, it's, it looks really, really cool. I think I've been here once before with Angelo, actually, it looks familiar. So anyways, our point is kind of down that way, so we'll check it out down there. I just find it weird that it did land in the caves, because usually a point will land in very, very odd places, like lakes, sometimes, like, off trail. I don't know what this says here. Let's check it out. So there's just a bunch of numbers here, guys. So we're going to go check this out. Oh, it looks like more people are... Alright, so... Yeah, I guess we'll go down this way. I'm a little bit claustrophobic, but this is pretty high up. Wow. So for all you cave lovers out there, Canada is pretty full of caves. There are caves everywhere. Not to mention there are other provinces and countries that do have caves. Okay. Yeah. I hate this backpack. I'm going to have to get a new bag because I cannot climb with this thing. Okay, here we go. Going down that way. Wow, we're pretty... As you guys can see, we're pretty far down. Not as far down as I, as I have, ah, not as far down as I have been before, but as you guys can see, like that's a pretty good, solid 10, 15 foot drop. So, 
yeah, so my point, I believe, yeah, so my point is off in this direction here. So I'll just go check it out. Nothing in here. I'm just looking everywhere I go. Whoa. What is that? Hello? I thought I heard something in this direction. My point is actually down here. I don't know what this is. Yeah, there's something back here, guys. Oh my god, what is this? Okay, so we just found this, um, it looks like a letter. So man's first landing on the moon. And then it says Washington, September 9th, 1969. The moon landing. And then it says July 20th, 1969. And then here's the guys that, the Apollo 11 astronauts, NASA. This is old school, guys. Like, really, really old school. This is wild. Okay, I'm gonna find... Now I'm starting to wonder, maybe there's more goodies here because my point's not even here. My point's actually out that way. I always tell people, though, if you've never done caves before, honestly, go with a buddy. Go with somebody that has because you can hurt yourself, you can slip and hurt your head, and that's the biggest worry doing this sort of thing. So anyways, we just found this here. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna check this out. It's a little bit damp here, but we'll see what we got. All right, I'm glad that it's in this plastic. That's all right. All right, so here we go. Kind of zoom in here just so you guys can see the uh, stamp and fine artwork here. That's really, really cool. Oh, it is sealed. Come on, show Bradley what you got. Come on. What do we got? Shake, 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 shake your booty. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, so we just found this, um, Wow, so we just found this uh, moon coin here. Like that. And wow, it just says Apollo 11. It's probably Angelo texting me, so I'll have to get back to him. What is this, though? So we just found this now. So it says, oh my god. My dearest Charlie, why won't you write me back? Have you not been receiving my letters? The doctor said I can come home today. Says, says I have gone into remission. That beyond medical science, whatever happened to me was in fact a miracle. I'm coming home. I hope you are safe and healthy. Love you, Ellis. Oh my god, it's actually Ellis, guys. I can't believe we just found this. That is crazy. I actually haven't had anything to do with Ellis in a long time. Like, in, like in, a, in a while. Like, it's been videos since we found anything to even do with her. We don't know if she is alive still. Because, I mean, obviously we're finding old things. Like, going way back into a time period, like in the 60s. Um, I've found things to do with, like, I think in the 40s, I don't know. So we don't really know a lot about this person, but this is one of the first names that we encountered coming up. All right, so let's see here. I believe Angelo might be looking for me, so I'm gonna find him. I'm not here. All right. 
right, guys. I'm gonna put this in my pocket. That is so wild that we found this. I can't fit through there anyway, so it really doesn't matter. Oh my god. It's like a labyrinth though. Like, there are so many areas we could literally hit, guys. I'm gonna boom up the torch so we can see better. I'm sweating like crazy. Yeah, so it's funny. The point is actually right here. I'm going to look up there and just see if there's anything. I'm wondering if this is all that was to be found, though. Oh, wow. You can go up here, too. This is just crazy, guys. I'm just going to check this out. Hopefully no cave spatter, you scum. Oh, wow. It looks like this goes out to a scenery here. Oh, wow. You don't get views like this, guys. This is wild. We're way, way high up. Wow. I'm just sweating like crazy. This is, this is wild. I kind of overdress for this. I literally do this because I hate mosquitoes, so I just didn't want to get bit. And I, I just don't like bug spray. It's, you know, call me weird, but whatever. I just don't like it. But anyways, we came out to a clearing here. I know I gotta find Angelo soon. So this part, I'm gonna get stuck, guys. Like, this is as far as I can actually go. I cannot fit through here. I'm really squinched. So, if there is something there, that really sucks. But, uh, yeah, that's really, that's the radius, anyhow. Okay. Whoo! Oh, boy. I am sweaty. Sweaty like crazy. All right, so I have to put this back in my pack, guys. I just can't walk with it. I need to have both hands. I need to have one hand for climbing and stuff like that. Really cool caves though. Really cool explorer. Please don't fall. Are you there? Are you there? No. This tripod just doesn't want to do that. I'm just gonna put this in my pack. Oh, fudge. Yeah, this, uh, I think my, my zipper on this pack is broken too, so it makes it even worse. <laughs> but we're gonna put some of these away. These are really cool finds. When I find stuff like this, you snag it because if, like honestly, somebody else would, and especially in a place like this. Oh wow, look at this growing. This is crazy. All right, yeah, look at this. There's literally uh, moss and stuff just growing right out of the rock. Isn't that wild? Hopefully, uh, Angelo gets my messages. I don't know if I can go through here, guys, to get back. <sighs> yeah, this looks really, really tight. I have the backpack on. Oh, wow. There's cave spiders. Yeah, I think that's way too cramped, and I don't want to... There's actually a film about a guy who gets stuck in uh, crevices and caves, so I definitely don't want to end up being like that guy. Because <laughs> if you do get stuck, that's it. <laughs> Uh, that seems to be the danger and I'm carrying too much gear to get stuck right now I would have to leave my backpack in order just to get through that crevice oh what's that is this is John and Eric and mom or something oh wow Woo. 
I do not have proper footwear for this. So definitely, if you're going to go to caves, bring climbing shoes. I think athletic shoes would work. I'm not positive. Okay, so that goes there. Now we're going all the way back. Okay. Whew. Wow. Yeah. So we tackled the cave. Ran and nodding and seeing some stuff. That was super cool. I'm just going to see what's down here anyways. I'm going to run a new point a little later on. Perhaps when me and Angelo meet up, I'll run a different point. Yeah, I don't see anything here. I think this one just comes to a dead end, guys. But this one I could for sure fit through. Yeah. You know what? I might be able to climb up that way. We'll go a different way. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Brad. Whoo! Yeah, so the trail's down there. So we'll get down there. And then follow the way. Okay. Alright. Alright, guys. So I think what I'll do is I'll make a cut now. And I'm going to head down and look for Angelo. Alright, guys. I had to make a, cut, a bit of cut there. There was a lot of walking. I don't want to film like 25, 30 minutes just me walking. Um, but anyways, I'm headed down this way looking for Angelo. <sighs> and then hopefully we'll set some more intents and stuff like that. Oh wow, look at this. Okay. Wow, this is actually super cool. Okay, so... I'm on this boardwalk right now. Angelo? Checking all this stuff out. So I think he's down that way. I don't know, I mean, the trail that he was supposed to come down is supposed to loop around this way here. So I think I just think that we keep heading in this direction. The arrows are all pointing in this direction here. Yo, what the hell is that? Oh, freak. I honestly just spotted that out of the corner of my eye. Like there's just this little dude like hanging down and stuff. Yo. Okay, there's something right there. Oh, what does this say? Says they're all mine now. Hey, somebody out there? Hello? Stop messing around. I don't know. I just know that he went back down this way, so we're gonna have to look for him. <sighs> I don't really feel safe doing this stuff on my own. I am all by myself right now, guys. So I'm gonna have to find him. <sighs> Knowing Angelo, he would have stuck to the path and he would have kept going. Angelo? Where are you, buddy? <sighs> okay, so I came to a clearing here. I have no idea what this is, but I don't want to, I really don't want to check this out myself. Oh, my anxiety is too. Someone out there? No? Okay. I am hearing sounds all around me. Hello? No. Whew. This is honestly one of the creepiest forests I've ever been in at night. So. Hey, Angelo? Where are you, buddy? He's got to be here somewhere.
Oh my god, that's creepy. Whoa! Woo! That was close. I almost fell on my ass there. It sounds like there's like a waterfall or something out this way. But I'm not really sure. This is a far walk. Whenever you find something laying on the, laying on the ground, guys, it doesn't matter what it is. <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't, like, you guys shouldn't pick it up. Because, like, even, like, this could have been a trap for me. It could still be a trap. I'm not really sure. So, I'm hearing the falls here, though. I think he would be a... One second. Okay. So this is point six here. Angelo? Are you there, buddy? I don't know where he is. I hear a waterfall, though. I haven't gotten any text from him, but like from what I saw, like it said that it was red, which is really weird. I imagine he's somewhere down here though. I can't think of anything else, you know what I mean? So I just hope that we can find him. Hey Angelo, are you there? He's gotta be here. I don't feel safe right now. They're all mine now. I can only imagine like what the hell this is. Okay. It's got to be down here. Wow, there's like a little bridge there, you guys. Wow. Okay, so that says no access that way. Angelo? Are you there? He's got to be down here somewhere. Holy mackerel. Do you guys see this? Wow. There's like some sort of limestone ruin here, guys. I imagine Angelo's down here somewhere. We gotta find him. Okay, so we just found this ruin. I don't know what it used to be. If you guys can see, there's these holes in it. Kind of creepy almost looks like mortuary kind of stuff the way it's shaped but i don't think that's what it was it's an old limestone house he's got to be down here somewhere i can't imagine i just don't want to open this by myself guys hey angelo you down here buddy it says that there's some other structure down this way guys that is really, really cool though. Really interesting. <clears throat> My hand is getting sore from carrying this thing. I think that's him right there. That you, buddy? Okay, sick. Okay, we just found him right now. You're not going to believe what I just found. I don't know what it is. <sighs> Whew. Yeah, I heard a sound in the bush as soon as I picked it up, man. Yeah, there's uh, someone out there. Yeah? 
Oh yeah, I think it's the same person as last time. I don't know where the hell they are. Oh my god. I think we need to start coming back. That's all I found. I didn't want to open this by myself. Like, I just didn't want to mess around, but there's like letters in this thing. Oh, that's weird. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, Whew. time to uh, get the hell out of here. Okay. Dude, I was literally about to shank you, bro. Oh my god. Oh, so you thought, was you thought it was him, yeah. eh? Yeah. Well, I heard something. I'm like, what the hell is that? Yeah. Ugh. No, that's creepy, man. Whew. I heard that. This place just feels dangerous. Oh, I see that too. Just be very careful, bro. that something's gonna jump out at me. So it looks like there's a bunch of shapes and stuff in here. I mean letters. It's almost like kids stuff, right? Cute things. Yeah. What the f Definitely doesn't spell Wait. anything. Look at how many letters. Yeah, I know. I just saw that too. Look at it. It's the same, it's thing, the same right? thing. And it says they're all mine now. Yeah, like, what is this thing, bro? There's something written on it. What does that say? It's all taped together, like, in a ball. We alone in the world? Let's see. Hopefully we can get it open without damaging it, that's for sure. Oh, it looks like it's just paint. See? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll still be able to read it. Let's get that part off here. Okay, I think that's just a vehicle. No, no, I heard something move over there. Like sounds. Okay, let's just see what this thing is. Maybe tear from this side. Okay, just rip it. Yeah, let's rip it open. Hold it. Whoever did this is fucking. Right there. Okay, what is this thing here? That is... Oh my god. It's an evil. Cool. This says something for sure. There's something on here, guys, that they want us to see, but... Oh, I can see through the tape. Okay. It says, are we alone in the woods? Okay. Okay, that's great. Um, what else does it say, bro? Our lives in grave... Danger. Oh, that's good. But good to know. Okay. Um, you gonna shake it? <laughs> of course. Oh my god. <laughs> it literally really? says of course. That is oh, creepy. Go screw yourselves. Okay, that's fun. I hate these people. I can't stand them. What people? Well, whoever, whoever hunts us, like, predators. Yeah, man, I don't know. I, I don't know what to, what to say. Um, okay, let's just get the... Just have your knife ready, if anything, dude, yeah. because I'm... I can hear a train. Let's get the, let's get yeah. That's loud. It is loud. I really thought I had this bad feeling in my head when I picked this up, I was gonna get jumped right away. Like it was a, some sort of trap. You picked what up, that? Yeah, when I picked this up, I was all by myself. I'm Honestly, like. Dude, like, I don't know if there's one. There's one person for sure. Um, but there could be more than one. Mm hmm. 
So, do you know anything about this taser guy, or was just some guy that know. came out I at never, you? Like, I saw a shadow of them at one point, but that was about it. I couldn't like. You couldn't see him. No, like no visual. Okay. So I don't know who the hell they are, what they're doing here. Yeah. Something. I heard sounds. I didn't see anyone though. That's the thing. I would hate to be tased. <laughs> I, I like, I already have a bad heart, so like, the, the last thing I need to do is be tased. That to me is just as bad as a gun. Okay. For me, I don't mind finding things or finding coordinates during the day. As soon as it's night, I gotta be with a buddy. Like, there's no, there's no way. Too many sounds and we've had too many predators in the past, so. I keep thinking that I'm seeing some sort of light, but I don't know. I don't know what that is. What's wild too is the image on that thing. I've been coming across things without, like Alice in Wonderland. And that thing had Tweedledee and Tweedledum on it. This is a completely different area from where we were. I don't know how these people follow us, track us. I just don't know. Okay, so it's a stay on Mark Trail. What is that? Yeah. Maybe more like crevices and stuff? Yeah, I mean it's very beautiful, like the landscapes and surrounding, for sure, but this is the thing, like if a person were to chase us through this, like we could get really injured, Angelo, especially with all these rocks around. Good. Yeah, oh wow, this is cool. Don't be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I just saw a great one behind you. Or be alarmed, one or the other. Yeah. Okay, let's just... Okay. Yeah. That's for them. Oh, they could still be following us, that's the thing. Our lights are bright as shit. Well, I'd say we just get the hell out of here. Okay. out there yeah like I'm not gonna deal with this fucking shit man I can tell you that right now That's the thing guys too, don't walk around with knives, you don't want to fall on them. So we're not seeing anybody but we're hearing things. We did see a light though that was back there, that was a little weird. Like a flashlight? Like strobed. 
I'm not ready to die tonight, that's for sure. Oh yeah, this part is dangerous. Whew. Yeah. During your time doing random not okay, have you or anyone else been like really like physically harmed or hurt? These are these tree roots, guys, that I've been talking about. I've been injured. My buddy Brett also injured on these. Mm. Whew. Anxiety's up a little bit. I'm actually amazed I haven't seen any nature. This is some pretty <laughs> dense forest, man. <sighs> guys so we made it to the car um he's just packing up right now i did find this thing in the woods i didn't feel comfortable looking at it in in the forest i just i just couldn't do it um there was a lot going on fortunately enough i wasn't chased uh, nobody came after me in particular but apparently there is somebody out there and they they are skulking the woods we heard sounds from every direction it was really 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 creepy but anyways guys i found this and I've been meaning to take a look at it and it says they're all mine now. And there's like little bottles. So I'm not really, I'm guessing that each one of these spells something, I don't really know. So we're just gonna check them out. All right, so what I'm gonna do, let's just face the camera this way here. It's really wild too, we had saw some um, cars had pulled up too. But I think they're just hanging out, visitors, right? All right, let's so we'll see what this is. I'm gonna do one at a time because I mean, obviously these these probably spell something. All right, let's see what's over here. Ah, <sighs> okay. So I found some words. Now I'm guessing that they make some sort of a name, like. C-N? No, that's not what it says. Because that's not a name. And hold up, hold up, hold up. I think this does say something. So if I put this here. Man. Hold up. Yo, that's what it is. That's definitely it. K 
Okay, hold on, guys. I think that it spells out Nancy. Sorry, it just keeps sticking to my fingers. So I'm pretty sure that, that that's what that one says. Because Cian and not, nothing else kind of rung a bell. That's, what, that's really weird. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, so there's another one here. I'm just going to open it up again. And then we'll take a peek at that. All right. Again, like, I don't know what's been going on if we found evidence before of a real possible murder. We don't know, but we keep finding, like, this trail of breadcrumbs that seems to be, like, even more ominous, like, every time we do this, so. Okay, so we found another bunch of letters. It's almost like, like a kid's toy or something, you know what I mean? Like, making, like, uh, bracelets for mommy and daddy type thing. Like, this is really, really weird. Okay, so we've got another one. Another one here, guys. We'll just see what this is. Okay, so that was the first one. So we have a bunch of letters here. I don't know, maybe you guys will probably be able to spell this before I can. Like, that's definitely not Emily. Because look, E... Wait, hold on. Okay, let's put this up here. Um, yeah. That's definitely not Emily. There's more than one word. Letter, I mean. Ami... La... I mean, there's a lot of names out there, so it could be, like, almost anything. What is this? Amil... No, that can't be it. Yeah, so that's not that word. Let's just try this here. So we've got... Hill... No, that doesn't make any sense. Okay, hold on. So, like, M. This is just so weird. I don't think I've ever found anything like this. Michael? Maybe, I don't know. Let me see. Okay, let's just put this in, guys. I don't know what we're going to get here. My. <clears throat> hold on. Okay, Mike. We are getting something, though, guys, like... Hold up! No, 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 no. Yeah, this is a girl. These are girls' names. Hold on, hold on. Mitch. Okay, let me just get these together. Yeah, that is definitely Michelle. What's funny, too, is in, even in Canada, like, there's actually different ways of saying, like, spelling certain names. So that can be confusing as well. Okay, so we have these two so far, guys. I'll just put those together. Let me see. Okay, so we have... Yeah, we'll put that together right there. There's still one more that we have to guess. And I really I really hope these people are alive. Like, I hope this is just somebody's idea of a sick joke. I really don't know. Okay. Again, so i got to open this. I need two hands, guys. I'm going to check out this last one right here. Alright, let's see what this is. And it's funny, too, because this is almost like a kid's science set science kit or something like that all right so we put these down here check this out so we got a bunch of new blocks here guys this is the last one we have because i know that me and angela we do want to get going we don't want to stay here we're obviously safe here in the parking lot which is nice i'm just getting eaten alive it's crazy all right so we have two words here so this one so is it Sarah? No. C. Look, there's so many different names. C. Let me see here. There's a J. So we know that there's a J in the name. It's a Jas. Can you imagine if it said, like, Yasko? No. Jasil. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I think I figured this out. 
Let me just see. Okay, there's one. Yeah. Okay, I think I know this, guys. Let's put this up here. Wait, yeah, there's an E. So, yeah. This is absolutely crazy. I've never found anything like this before. We have found puzzles before, but, uh... I think that's the puzzle, guys. I really think that that's it. Okay, so let's put this in here. Oh my god. That's creepy. You're not gonna believe this, bro. It spells out Jessica. The last name is Jessica. The past couple times, me and you were, uh, finding these names well just the jessica one so it says they're all mine and we got nancy michelle and jessica hmm. and i've been coming across like this note that it was basically this serial killer and he was he was like i've given myself up i put all my evidence in this safe and me and brett found this safe and literally, I, I keep wondering, like, could Jessica be one of them? Yeah, but see, if you mix up the letters like that, it could also spell Gandison. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you found all these names before? Yeah. I have found Jessica. I'm not sure about the other, other two names mentioned here. Mm -hmm. But, like, as this is saying that they're all mine now, like, I'm just wondering, like, did this person kill these three people? Like, that's just disturbing as all hell. I don't know, man. Yeah, I don't know. But all we know is that there is some crazy person in the woods, and they chased Angelo before, and it's what you said, it sounded like a taser or something, mm -hmm. right? Uh, just the same thing. Yeah. It literally sounded like the same thing. So, I don't mm -hmm. know, if somebody's running around, and it's like, like you said, they're an idea of a sick joke. Mm -hmm. Chasing people through a forest with a laser. That's a thing, too, because, I mean, I never found anything. Like, I didn't find anything disturbing, like a body or anything like that. I have found human hair, and that scared me. Yeah. That actually gave me the chills. Now, whether it was fake or not, like, I mean, obviously, there there is artificial hair out yeah. there, and some ideas of a sick joke, because we were outrun by a person, but, um, last episode, but anyways, uh, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna get headed out, guys. This place is just, that forest gives me the creeps. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is about this place, but there's something about this forest that it just, it just gives me a side of, like, unease, yeah. so... Anyways, guys, um, we're gonna wrap this one up. Um, oh my God, it's like a fireball. Light is just so bright. Um, so we're gonna get this one wrapped up. Be sure to smash the like button, hit subscribe, and we got a lot more coming for you guys.